Oh, let's break it. Damn! Get out of here, or is it just me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Wasmatic, and today over watching the Blizzard team have pushed out a whole raft of content that we'd heard a little bit of information about. It's now on the PTR for us to test. Uh, I've already made a video about the changes that uh, have been implemented or, or going to be implemented to D.Va with regards to changes to her boost, uh, the introduction of, introduction of a new ability. Uh, called Micro Missiles, and uh, now we're going to have a look at Mercy. So Mercy's had quite a few, uh, I mean, major updates have been made to this hero. We no longer have the Mass Resurrect as an ultimate. That's gone. That's been replaced by this ultimate here called Valkyrie. Now, when I first heard the news, I read it last night before I went to bed, and I thought, I don't like the sound of that. I do not think that doing away with the mass resurrect is a good idea. I personally personally felt that we were seeing a lot of people moaning about Mercy and the mass res being a, a real game changer. I, and I think that's probably true, but that, that was a challenge like many other challenges in the game to deal with. So what's happened now is we've seen the, the ultimate replaced, so the mass resurrect has been replaced with this ultimate called Valkyrie, which gives Mercy the ability to fly. It also then significantly enhances all of her other abilities so the Cordigus staff when you hold it and heal or when you when if you ta um, uh, if you if you switch it on off you've tog toggle it on and off it doesn't just heal one hero it then splays out from the target you're healing to anyone else in the vicinity of that hero so you've got a group heal as an ultimate um, the same goes for the damage boost so you can choose to damage boost a group uh, the blaster, when you're in your ultimate, the blaster files a lot faster and does more damage. It's insane the amount of damage that Mercy does. She's actually now truly coming into the battle, Mercy. Uh, the joke that we've all held for so long. Uh, Guardian Angel, uh, I think that the, the, the distance travelled for Guardian Angel when you have Valkyrie un up and running is a lot l further. So you can actually travel using Guardian Angel a lot further than you can do when, you're, when your ultimate isn't toggled on. The Resurrect, which is now an individual target ability, so you no longer have the ability to do a group Resurrect, you can Resurrect individuals. That's got a 30 second cooldown timer on it. Now when I tried that, just mucking around in, in a couple of games this morning, it, it, it's a long time, 30 seconds on a cooldown. I personally think that they should reduce that a little bit, maybe by 8 or 10 seconds. Um, but what this means is you've really, really, really got to focus on who you resurrect and when. Uh, now, when you have your Valkyrie up and running, your resurrect cooldown timer reduces. I don't know by how much, because I haven't managed to get myself into the scenario where um, I can test that. In terms of Angelic Descent, I don't think there's any change there when your ultimate is on. And Passive Regeneration, I need to test that again and see, do you actually get a faster regeneration while Valkyrie is up and running? I would imagine so, but um, I'm going to now jump into a game with some AI and let's see how it plays out. So I've grabbed a game, uh, I've taken out all the other healers apart from me and I, I thought I had boosted my uh, ultimate ability so it would generate, regenerate faster, but uh, I might have missed that. An enemy was Let me get you patched up. <laughs> Let's get you back in the There's the individual res. I'm under attack behind you. Now you can see I've still got 21 seconds left. I can resurrect in three in this. The ultimate's nearly up now. Connection ongoing. Let's get you back out there. Live. Okay, that's the ultimate up. And let's go. Taking the objective. So you can see that it's actually chaining to every other member of the team. You can also do the same for a damage boost. I mean that's an enormous amount of fun to play. And it actually lasts quite a while as well. Where does the objective A capture? 
Commence attack on these, e these easy AI really are really Drop it on medium, aren't they? I'm taking the point. <clears throat> Let's get you back out there. But then. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna sit back, I'll leave them to leave a few to die. <laughs> the problem with the easy AI is nobody dies because nobody's got any accuracy. Oh Reaper, you're gonna go. Oh no. Having said that nobody's got any accuracy, I get sleep dart on me. Somebody die! There you go, Reaper. Heroes never die. I you can see the cooldown time it over 30 seconds. Really, really love this flying ability. So the Valkyrie reduces the uh, resurrect, the individual resurrect, to ten seconds. Really oh, and the nice thing is you can get into some different positions as well. Check that out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm capturing the objective. Oh, mercy in the high chest. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a resurrect see whether that increases your cooling. I'm on fire. Mercy. Okay. Three. Yeah, the resurrect doesn't offer any contribution towards the uh, charge on the ult. Graphics like. Did someone call a doctor? These fights can go on forever. Let's have another ult and see if that works. I could use some assistance. I really like the fact that you can actually get mercy into some interesting different positions. You are taking the objective. Let's win. There you go. So that is the new Mercy. Uh, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. What do you think it sounds like? What do you think it looks like when it's played? I personally think this is really going to shake the game up in some significant way. Um, I can't wait for this to go on to live. I think it's really opened up Mercy in terms of her versatility. She can actually now do a decent amount of DPS with her ult. And I think it probably sits quite quite well with the the dive comp as well. You can dive in with an ult and you can damage boost or you can mass heal. You've got a, a ten second a ten second resurrect legendary thing. Uh, you've got a ten second cooldown resurrect individual resurrect. I mean, I think when I heard the when I heard the the changes last night, I read them and I said to my friends we were we were playing a quick play at the time. I said I don't think this is a good move. Uh, and I have to, I'm always one to admit when I'm wrong, and I am wrong. This is, it's great. I'm really enjoying it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching if you've stuck with me this far. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so because it really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to knock out at least one video a day. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.